Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be evaluating a logarithmic expression in terms of another one. So we're given that log 2 with base 12 is equal to a, and we are supposed to evaluate log 72 with base 6 in terms of a. Now, there is a couple different ways to solve this problem. For example, one method could be using the definition of logarithms, and another method which I'm going to be using is change of base. Now change of base is a very important formula in logarithms so I just wanted to give you a quick background I hope you don't mind some people don't want me to talk about you know these kinds of things just get on with the problem but I'd like to share with you the formula because I'm going to be using it. Okay so suppose you have the log of a with base b I can just write this as log a over log b. Here the base doesn't matter you can just put a base here if you want it could be base 10, base e, base x, anything will work. So this is a really cool formula and that's what I'm going to use. So it's called change of base. So now using the change of base formula I can basically write my expression that is equal to a in base 10. I'd like to use base 10 and when I write something like log x it just means log x with base 10. All right, that's what I'm talking about. I'm not going to be writing the base every time, and log x does not mean ln or base e. Okay. Now, let's start with this log 2 with base 12. I can write it as, using the change of base formula, log 2 over log 12. And we know that it's equal to a, right? Great. Now, what am I going to do with this information? Well, here's what I'd like to do. I want to break down the 12, so let's go ahead and do it. I can break it down into 4 and 3, and this is important. Why not 2 times 6? I want to use prime factors, so I want to make sure that the prime factors are separated, and then I'll use the formulas for logs, you know, basic formulas. This can be written as log 4 plus log 3, and then I can just uh, write the log 4 as 2 log 2 because it's log 2 squared, and the 2 can be moved, so I can write this as log 2 over 2 log 2 plus log 3. And as you know, this is equal to a. Now, what does this tell me? Does, does this give me a lot of information? Well, kind of. Uh, I can just go ahead and find something from here. Let me tell you what I'm going to do. So, log 2 cross multiply, 2a log 2 plus a log 3. I'd like to put the, all the log 2's on the same side, so let's go ahead and do the following. Log 2 minus 2a log 2 is equal to a log 3. So separating the log 2 and log 3 and factoring out the log 2, hopefully you now know what I'm getting at. And then finally, so here's my goal, to find the ratio of log 3 and log 2. Later on this is going to be helpful, I'll show you how. But let's go ahead and uh, find log 3 over log 2 from here. If you divide, you know, do all the necessary arrangements, you get 1 minus 2a over a. So I was able to get log 3 over log 2 in terms of a. Great. So now if I can get the same part or expression in the given expression, which is the 72 with base 6, then I should be able to substitute. So I'm supposed to evaluate this expression in terms of a. But how can I break it down? Again, using change of base, I can write it as log 72 over log 6, and then separate it as log 9 times 8. Make sure that you are separating the different primes, and then you can write this as log 9 plus log 8 divided by log 3 plus, oops, that's a bad 3, log 3 plus log 2. And then log 3 is 3 squared, so it becomes 2 log 3. This is 2 cubed, and that becomes 3 log 2. And the bottom is good. Now, note that I got uh, something that contains log 3 and log 2. And I do know the ratio of log 3 over log 2. So how could I use this information? Well, one method would be isolate log 3, plug it in, or my method. The method that I'm going to use is, since log 2 is not 0, we know that log 2 does not equal 0, right? Hopefully. Okay. 
I can divide everything by log 2. Let's go ahead and do it. It's fun and it's helpful. Divide by log 2, divide by log 2, and then divide by log 2, and divide by log 2. Now notice that this is my expression, the ratio. This is 1 and this is 1. Of course, just make sure to write a 1 there. It's not 0. And this is my expression. So from here, the, ex the original expression that I have can be written as 2 times. Now what is the ratio log 3 over log 2? That is 1 minus 2a over a, right? Plus 3, this 3 right here. And then that is divided by this expression again comes up, 1 minus 2a over a plus 1. So this is what I'm trying to find. Let's go ahead and simplify this. Uh, multiply and make a common denominator. That's going to be 2 minus 4a and then plus 3a because I need to make a common denominator. And then that's going to be a. The bottom is going to be 1 minus 2a plus a over a. The a cancels out when you flip and multiply. The top is going to give you 2 minus a. So let's go ahead and write it. Uh, let's remember the original expression. I was trying to find, uh, I was trying to find log 72 with base 6, and that is, that can be written as from here, 2 minus a divided by 1 minus a. So we were given this expression. Remember, log 2 with base 12 was equal to a, and we were trying to find the value of log 72 with base 6. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and hasta la vista.